email is shedding new light on a deadly DUI case in Pinal County. Mary Black died after a crash just outside Saddlebrook Ranch last year. The family is seeking a felony charge, but it's being prosecuted as a misdemeanor. 13 News Chief Investigative Reporter Valor Cavazos continues to dig into how Pinal County Attorney's Office is handling this case. The Black family has been critical of the investigation and has requested the Attorney General's office review the case. I got my hands on an email through a public records request. It's between the County Attorney Kent Volkmer and Supervisor Kevin Cavanaugh. Mary Black died from catastrophic injuries months after a violent crash on Route 77 in May. The other driver's blood alcohol level, twice the legal limit. And the DPS report reveals the driver who has a prior DUI fell asleep at the wheel. Pinal County Attorney Kent Volkmer told us Mary Black's husband, Marshall, was at fault because he made an illegal left-hand turn. But Marshall told a DPS trooper at the scene his car wasn't moving. He was waiting to turn left when the drunk driver hit him head on. Andrew Black is the couple's son and a former special agent in charge of the FBI office in Tucson. The Black family has been critical of how the prosecution is handling the case. I was hoping they had decided to uh, either charge this as a felony case or uh, direct it to the Attorney General's office for prosecution like they had suggested they would, uh, but that neither was done. This email sheds some light on that. Volkmer wrote on January 31st to Supervisor Kavanaugh. The office made a request to the AG to look at the case in one final last ditch effort for a differing opinion, but they did not hear back. But that's not what the AG's office told Andrew two weeks later. This is the emailed response on February 14th. We will not re-examine their charging decision absent a request from them for assistance. They are not making such a request. I followed up with the AG's office on the conflicting information and received this reply. We are looking into this issue. Another issue is revealed in the email between Volkmer and Kavanaugh. The county supervisor questioned the lack of basic investigative techniques in, at the time, a near fatal crash. Volkmer responded that his criticisms of the investigation are valid. He wrote, DPS did not call us out and they did not do as thorough of a job as many of us would like to see. This has been a sticking point for the Black family. They too have questioned DPS's crash reconstruction. Volkmer wrote in the email it was done a couple of days later, but the Black family had confirmed from DPS it was 11 days later. The family sent us this picture of a DPS crew surveying the scene on May 28th. Andrew said the prosecutor told him the case hinges on the gouge marks made by the cars, which can help determine how a crash happens. How can you rely on that reconstruction report so far down the road from when the accident occurred? Those gouge marks in the roadway could have been made by anything. They could have been made by any vehicles. There are hundreds, actually thousands of vehicles going through that uh, highway at that point on a daily basis. He didn't have an answer for that. I tried to get answers, but when I reached out to DPS, I was told that they would not respond at this time. And the Pinal County attorney has said he'll no longer answer my questions about this pending case. We've also learned that a pretrial hearing scheduled last week has been continued to April 18th. We'll keep you updated on this case. Valerie Cavazos, 13 News Investigates.